If I want the purse, I'm gonna get it. Like the reason why it makes you itch like a crackhead is because you're. What's up, y'all? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Howard Bunga. Welcome back to another Vlogmas. Weekend vlog. It came so fast again. Hi, it's Friday and it's 11.30 in the morning. Um, Not as early as I wanted to get out. But yeah, I am at Nordstrom Rack. I'm trying to pick up my last minute Christmas gifts. Hopefully I find something. Let's pray to God and cross our fingers because... Um, I done my major shopping, but now I have to get like the white Christmas, um, the white elephant gifts and Secret Santa type gifts. Um, it was like stocking stuffers and stuff like that. And I have to pick up some stuff from Ulta Beauty. I have, um, I did pick up for them because if I go in there, I'm gonna be in there all day. Man, I have a busy Friday. After that, I have an appointment to get my body contour. So I'm probably gonna get um, a lymphatic drainage and then my Texas that she has a new machine for skin tightening that we're gonna do. I kind of want to do a uh, lipo cavitation as well. So we'll see when we get there, um, everything that we're gonna get. But let me uh, go ahead and go in here and see what we could buy. A lot of people are walking out empty handed. That's not a good sign. I'm looking at these watches. Yeah, citizens watches. They also got Versace. Yeah, the line is wrapped at home. The store. I see why people were leaving without stuff now because this line is crazy. I don't know how it's All right, y'all. I was in there for like probably 45 minutes. I was in line for like 15, 20 minutes, but I got the goods. And I bought a lamp plumper for me that I wanted to try. I'm about to try it right now. Because, but when you shop at Nordstrom Rack and stuff, you need to check the expiration date. I'm gonna try it, but I'm not gonna have time to go to Alta and BJ's before my appointment um, with Angel. So I'm gonna go after. Everybody was up in that Nordstrom. Oh my God. Nobody didn't tell me how hard it is to find gender neutral gifts. Like, Cause we're playing white elephant um twice watching my cutie pie get beautified i call it suicide prices chili weather break howie hi angel how are you doing good oh i like how you redid it in here you're right you haven't been here since i turned the room around mm -mm. i <gasps> haven't Girl, I look dusty too. Yes. Look at your little tree. Oh. See my cute little tree. I need to put my waist wrap on because I feel like I look fat under my dress. I feel like I look roly poly oly. It's not as snatched as it should be. You know. Mhm. Mm like I need to pull it all in. I need to look like I got a booty all okay. <laughs> what I was missing was my skin tightening probe. Okay. Like, do you know how important this is? Like, if we can't tighten the skin after we break it down, what are we doing? Okay? I can hear my stomach growling. Welcome, you guys. Welcome to Howa's appointment. Okay, what we're going to do today is we're going to tighten her skin because that's her goal. We're going to tighten this part of her tum tum tummy. <laughs> right, Howie? Yes, because they say have kids. They ain't tell you the part where sometimes they make your skin freaking soggy no they just stretch the skin okay kids you know they help decrease the elasticity in your skin and that's okay because we can get it back right homie mm -hmm. that's what they say <laughs> I guess the good 
builders, they, they slow. There's like more than one permit, like 10 different permits. Yeah, and I did, I did a shorts and I did one where, um, you did the, uh, hip dip. How we got me in this job working, y'all? We can't be showing D little boobies. <laughs> So now, your least favorite part, getting on the vibration platform. Why do we hate it so much, Howie? Because it makes me itch. Do you know like why? Like a crackhead. Do you know why it makes you itch like a crackhead? No, tell us why. Okay, the reason why it makes you itch like a crackhead is because your arteries are expanding and collapsing. So it's called the runner's itch. Uh, I do itch when I run too. So you're probably right. Well, let me turn off the music. We're activating her lymphatic system because it's very important to do that. Right, Howie? Mm-hmm. All right, y'all. My Ulta package is secured. That took a while. Apparently, when I did the curbside, they got the, the alert late or something like that. So that took a while. So I'm finally at Big Lots, y'all. I feel like I've been out all day. It's 3.30. Mm -hmm. uh, my phone number? My mm -hmm. car is so night a saturday evening i had a long day went over to my brother's house um my brother just had a baby like a few days ago so so i went over there to see the baby and i went over there to help them with a few things i was over there way longer than i thought i was gonna be so it pushed me back a little bit because i was supposed to be wrapping majority of the gifts i need to wrap tonight because tomorrow I got a lot to do and I'm going to a dinner, so I want it to be done almost at least almost done wrapping gifts tonight. So I have my wine here. I don't know why I'm so out of breath. Get started. I got some packages, all of this stuff. I got a whole bag. This is my bag of wrapping paper. My wrapping papers in here. I got bags in here, boxes. I got tape. Um, I got tissue paper. I got cards. Cause every year I buy stuff and I don't be needing all of it. I bought some more wrapping paper. How cute is this reversible paper? You can use this side or this side. So I wrap my first gift.
Ciao. It just took me like 30 mm -hmm. minutes to wrap two gifts. But I meant to show y'all yesterday when I went to Nordstrom's rack. Nordstrom's be having like super cute jewelry. So I bought some jewelry for myself. It's going to be, I'm always the one that buys the stocking stuffers every year. My husband never buys them. Like I be giving him contest clues like, hey, you know, you could pick up some stocking stuffers. So I be having to stock my own stuff in. Stock my own. I be having to stuff my own stocking. So I bought myself some stocking stuffers because who else gonna put a gift in there? These super cute. I love that it has the pearl on the back end of the hoop. They're really funky, like you know, cute like everyday hoops. I thought that was cute. And then I got some more ones, some gold ones. That's super cute. Like a little hoopy hoop to add to my jewelry collection. And then I bought these. are so fire. Um, and they sparkle. They like these hoops with like the diamond crystals in the front. These are more, wait, first of all, they're upside down. That's why they look crazy like that. Sorry. <laughs> Here we go. These are more fancier pair of everyday earrings. So... I could, you could dress these up, of course, or you could dress them down. Oh, yeah, I'm over it already. If you ever don't feel like wrapping the gifts, but wrapping a gift with paper, but you still want it to, you know, be something that somebody opened without doing a gift bag, you can always do like a box. You could do a black box, silver box, white box. They have, um, decorated like fancy boxes so i have bought a pack of these black boxes and all i did was put some ribbon around it and then put the little name tag on it i think that's cute super cute and it saves times on wrapping gifts like y'all it's 2 22 in the morning i just poured me i mean not 2 12 22 in the morning i just poured me another glass of wine mm -mm -mm. <clears throat> and I'm still wrapping gifts. I had already put away some gifts that I wrapped. There's some that I wrapped over there. And then I have some over here that I wrapped. Hey y'all. I just want to come in here, on here and ask a question. Like, I saw this post on Instagram. Um, this is my friend at Cool Peeps. But like, she was basically asking her followers like, oh, where should I travel or where to go that a lot of people haven't been and people was giving suggestions she was like oh a lot of people been there already and i'm like i don't understand the mentality of not going somewhere just because a lot of people been there like i don't get it you haven't been there though like if someone else experienced turks and caicos and i see oh everybody's going to turks and caicos i haven't been to turks and caicos if i want to go i'm gonna go it's not i'm not going because so and so went or didn't go i'm going because i want to go like, I don't get the mentality of I'm not going there because a lot of people been there already. Same thing with, like, fashion. Oh, I'm not getting that purse because such and such have that purse or because everyone's getting that purse. If I want the purse, I'm going to get it. Like, it doesn't make sense. Now, someone please explain to me.